Okay guys, this is Jay Harris with Infinity Box. In our last video, I gave you an overview of our InTouchNet module. InTouchNet connects to our 20 circuit kit and any of our accessories and gives you a really unique way to control your car. You can control your car from the smartphone in your pocket or a tablet mount in your dash. So you can turn your lights on and off, turn your ignition on and off, run your windows up and down, lock and unlock your doors, even control your heating and air conditioning system from the tablet that you have on the dash or the smartphone in your pocket. In this video, I want to show you how you connect your smart device to InTouchNet, and I want to walk through the screens and show you the controls you can have from any touch screen in your car. So I have in front of me an iPad, and the process is the same for any Android product. So I'm going to show you step by step how you connect your iPad or your Android device to InTouchNet, and we'll walk through the screens. Okay guys, in this segment of the video, I wanna show you how you connect your smart device to InTouchNet. For the sake of this demo, I'm using an iPad mini, but this process is exactly the same for any Apple product and the same basic process for any Android product. So whether it's an iPad or an iPhone or a Galaxy tablet or a Samsung phone, you're gonna go through the same basic steps to pair your InTouchNet to your smart device. To get this going, you have to have the InTouchNet module installed and connected to your Infinity Box 20 circuit kit, and you have to have the car powered up and the system running. You also need to be within close range of the car, and close range can be 15 to 20 feet. So I have my iPad mini here connected. I've got InTouchNet connected to a 20 circuit kit and powered up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the settings for my iPad mini. I tap on the settings icon, that brings up the entire settings screen, and I wanna to go to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna hit Wi-Fi, and when I do that, the iPad mini is gonna scan for all available networks. And InTouchNet broadcasts its own network name, and that network name is posted on the sheet that came with your InTouchNet module. In this case, I'm looking for InTouch409. I'm gonna tap that, and it brings up the screen for the password. On the configuration sheet that comes with your InTouchNet, there is a unique password to your module that you need to put into your device so you can connect to that. So I'm going to put the password in right now, and I'm going to hit Join. And so my iPad mini is creating a secure connection, an encrypted connection, to InTouchNet. So once that's done, I will see under the list of connected devices, InTouch409, and that blue check mark next to it means that I am connected. So next, I'm gonna to go to whatever browser I like. It can be Safari, if it's an Apple product, it can be Internet Explorer. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. So if I hit Chrome, I am now opening up the browser and I'm gonna make a connection to the website that's stored inside InTouchNet. On my configuration sheet is the what they call the IP address, and that is 192.168 dot one dot five zero and I hit go and I am now accessing the InTouchNet screens that are stored inside the box. The next thing you see is what we call the security page. To get into the system you have to put in the password and the default password is on your configuration sheet it is one two three and enter and once I do that my iPad is now displaying all of the screens that I can use to control my car. The first screen that pops up is the engine screen, where I can control the ignition and the starter. And across the top, I have lighting for all of my lights. The next screen is windows. So if I have an in-motion module connected, I can control all my power windows. Next is locks. And if I have in-motion, I can control my power locks. And the last one is heat and AC. So if I have the Infinity Box environment module and I have a Gen 4 from Vintage Air, I can control all the features and functions of my climate control in the car. So if I go back to the engine tab, when I turn the ignition on, InTouchNet sends a command to the master cell. The master cell then tells the ignition to turn on or off. And then it sends a command back to confirm that that output is on. So in this case, that orange ring around the ignition button just lets me know that I've turned the ignition on or turned the ignition off. 
I can also control the starter from here, but the neutral safety switch in the system has to be made for safety. I can go back to the lighting tab, I can turn my headlights on, my parking lights, my high beams, all these be, can be controlled from InTouchNet. I can go back to Windows and control my windows up and down. Now there is no indicator on the windows because that's a momentary function. For my locks, I can lock and unlock my doors. And lastly, with environment and a Gen 4 from Vintage Air, I can control the blend position. I can control the temperature and I control the fan just by pressing these buttons and moving the slider. Now we can customize and configure the tabs across the top here and also the number of buttons and the labels of the buttons. So if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to our team and we can help you set up a custom system for your car. Well, thanks for watching this video. We hope that that really showed you how simple it is to connect any smart device to our InTouchNet and how you can control your car from any tablet or smartphone. If you have any questions, Give our team a call at 847-232-1991 or check out our website at www.infinitybox.com. If you like these videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post more. Thanks for watching. Take care.